Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick. Now, it was announced yesterday that Rory and Ma signed a new deal with Cyrus XM Stitcher for their podcast. And uh, they, gonna, they doing their thing. Uh, Ma's older brother, Biggs, actually... Put up a picture of them on Twitter and said this is what the first 10 million looked like. And a couple people picked that up and posted that online yesterday. So after the, the announcement that came from Rory and Maldo was through a Vulture magazine where they did a write-up interview. And I'll put the link in the description. And they told Vulture that, you know, that they was happy that this was going on. But of course, the Vulture magazine, because this is what the people want to know. They have to ask about Joe Budden. They asked that they seen Joe Budden. Rory has said that they, they were in the same place at one point, but there was nothing that really got spoke on or talked about. Ma said, no, nah, I hadn't seen him. Uh, but at that time when I was upset, because he did say that he wasn't in that same space anymore, that he kind of moved past all of the anger and everything like that. But he said at that time, if he would have seen him, it would have been bad news. So they did ask about Rory and Ma possibly being sued because Joe actually threatened to sue them. He went live on he went on his uh podcast and said that he would sue their pants off. So that became a thing. And you know, they asked that question. Maul and Rory actually said that they don't think he would sue because it would expose a lot. So the main thing now that Joe has decided to respond to was Maul saying, hey, character. You know, once you showed me your character and what you really standing on, basically, and how you move with other people, it's just a matter of time before you move that way with me. So Joe responded to that and said, they'll question your character once you stop taking care of them. That's what Joe responded. Different people hit me online, hit me in the comment section on the last video, DMing me, saying Joe responded in a slick way, da 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 Joe was pretty direct with this response because it's on the same day as this write-up comes out. And I want to be very clear also, man, that whatever went on between Joe and Rory and Maul could have been between Joe, Rory, and Maul. Joe is the one that exposed to the world the de issues and the problems that were going on. They could have kept it all cool and smooth and worked it out. Groups have problems all the time. It's all about can you keep it under wraps. And I'm learning from this. Like I tell all y'all, man, I actually learned and got down with podcasting through the Joe Budden podcast. I watched them come from nothing. Still, and you can go look at my old videos where I was saying before all this going on, when I was congratulating them for being able to move to the Spotify deal. I was doing the videos when Joe left Complex. And then after that, getting the Patreon deal and turning up, I uh, did videos on the issues that they was having with other podcasts. Everything, man, I've been a fan of them, but it got to the point where sometimes things don't work out. And I got to be all the way honest. Like I say, they helped me get out here and do my own podcast. But Joe actually made a lot of moves that I disagree with personally. That's a personal opinion. I don't get why he would go on the podcast once Ma told him directly, and you can look this up for yourself, you actually told me, Joe, that this podcast is none of my business, man, when I'm trying to tell you something or give you insight. Joe sat there. He was like, yeah. He didn't say my bad or I didn't mean that or I was in the heat of the moment. Joe wanted that to be understood like, Hey, I work like, yeah, nigga, I'm your boss. Like, or nigga, you don't have no say so. While at the same time, Joe was telling us that they do have say so. Joe was presenting it to us like they all in this is one and they all put their heads together and move. We later found out that they didn't know anything about the deals, the Spotify situation, uh, Patreon. Joe's making all these moves on the fly. But if you want to lie to yourself and tell yourself that, they presented it to us like Joe was the head honcho and he called all the shots. We knew that Joe was the star of the show. Rory and Ma knew that. We knew he was the MVP. That's a fact. But Joe presented it to us in a certain way. Now, some people don't like the truth, but the truth is the truth, fam. It is what it is. 
Ain't ain't me talking down on none of them niggas or nothing like that. They all successful. Rory and Molly successful. Joe is successful. Joe still got a million almost or something like that. YouTube subscribers still dropping a podcast two times a week. Got Patreon, got Ice and Niche. I just understand what happens when you make everything go public and you tell your people they fired online. You expose their personal information. Joe exposed the information first. So now Roy and Ma have to go back and defend themselves and tell their side of the story of it. But at the end of the day, they still came out on top. And I also want to address people saying $10 million ain't no money. And oh, after they pay taxes and all that old fly ass shit. Hey, shut the fuck up. All y'all people questioning the $10 million, Oh, is that enough money? Or they could have stayed with Joe for that. Shut the fuck up. Because I don't think people really understand money. Y'all just talk shit because y'all hear a lot of people talk about this and everybody's on this business talk. Say, fam, let's be very understanding and clear. Under 10% of the people in America, uh, less than 10% of the people in America make over $300,000 a year. Under 10%. Under 10% and y'all trying to talk about a $10 million deal. They said they get full ownership and everything. Y'all tell me where y'all can go work, where y'all can go get ownership or anything for $1 million. Fuck some taxes. Fuck, fuck some $2 million, $3 million. Show me where y'all can go work at for $150,000 or show me y'all business. How many people in America make 150000 plus a year? That number is very small. 10%, 5% type shit. So all that fly shit that y'all be talking, and I'm going to go live about this shit in a second. Y'all be quiet about that, man. So, hey, we're going to see where it stands at. I'm sure that Joe will probably respond tomorrow on his pod, and uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe he'll just move forward. But I'll keep y'all updated, man. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politics TV 1000. Stay on your pivot for shit show.